there will be, there will be a brief amount of time remaining for this interaction. Is there anything else you wish to discuss in the time that does remain for this particular window? Yes. All right. People that commit acts of murder. Yes. When we, we can now release the idea of death, it's simply just a blink of an eye into a new dimension or a new reality. Yes. But those individuals that are committing acts of murder... Yes. <clears throat> they're still responsible for their choices. They can still be observed to be acting out of fear, doubt, and in a negative manifestation, negative mechanically. Negative energy meaning that which segregates, that which disconnects, that which separates, that which is not holistic, that which is out of alignment with the true self. You can still recognize that that's what they're doing. It doesn't excuse the idea of their preference or choice. It may simply be that they have no way of knowing how to do anything any differently because they weren't taught how to express love in any different way other than to feel fear and lash out. So you can have compassion, but I'm not saying in that sense it's, shall we say, you don't have to devoid the idea that it's their responsibility to learn to choose other ways to act in harmony. You follow me? Yes, I'll review the tape. In other words, in other words, when someone makes a choice to kill another, <clears throat> it is done out of fear. It is done because the one doing the killing feels they have already died, that they have been killed, that they have been suppressed, that they have been abused, that they have been devalued, that they are disconnected from all that is. They are in total fear, total panic. And all they can do, the only way they know how to relate in reaching out to others is to do harm is to do acts of disconnection. Acts that are representative of how they feel. And so you can recognize that. And I'm not saying you have to judge them. But you can still observe that they may be acting out of integrity as an observation, as a compassionate observation. It's not an excuse. It's an observation. And you can assist those people to get in touch with the idea that they are worthy in the eyes of creation, to be whatever they wish to be, so they can let go of the idea that they must force others to their point of view, because the only reason anyone would have to feel that they need to force someone into their point of view is because they don't believe in their point of view to begin with. Does this make sense? Oh, beautifully. Yeah. All right. And did that answer your question? Yes, it did. All right. But again, everyone goes to heaven. Yes. yes. Now. When someone who has done an act of extreme segregation, disconnection, finds themselves in the spirit world, <clears throat> they may be disoriented, they may be confused, they may even go into a kind of psychic hibernation to repair themselves. Almost as if they had a very, very strange nightmare. You follow me? But they will slowly be, shall we say, helped to wake up from that nightmare and remember who they actually are and why they may have made the choices that they did. Now, the soul will take all of that and use it in a positive way for its own growth. The soul will not judge it at all. But the soul may recognize that it may not have been the most aligned way the personality it created could have acted. It may not have made the most aligned and harmonious choices it could have. You follow me? Yes. But it will be an observation, not a judgment. Yes. Does that make sense? Clear. It'll be an understanding of the reasons and the factors that went into creating that personality and why it became out of alignment with its core self in that way. Earth, I'll put it this way, Earth is a tough school. Mm. Has been for many thousands of years. It's one of the most steeply, steeply, embedded societies we have ever found in limitation. That's why we call you the masters of limitation. But you see, the idea is, <clears throat> is that the deeper you go into darkness, when you finally come out of that into the light, you'll go that much farther into the light. Yes, like a rubber band. Exactly. And that is the strength that you are all exhibiting by choosing to be on Earth, and the reason we are so grateful to you for having chosen that experience because your experiences are being shared with others in the cosmos 
and thus others, no matter what trials and tribulations or ideas they may be having that they would experience as difficulty, can look to you and say, if they can do it, <laughs> we can do it. Fuck yeah! That's the shit! <laughs> Yes. All models for the universe! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs>